Nine, eight, seven, six. I'm Gary Popper. And I'm Cecily Tynan. And welcome to Primetime Weekend. Tonight, the day after 9-11, why was this the only private plane flying above New York City? And here's how our post-9-11 world looks to the legendary cartoonist Tony Off. But first, it's the itsy-bitsy world of nanotechnology. Our future looks awesome. There were plenty of them back in 1939 at the World's Fair. I hereby dedicate the World's Fair, the New York World's Fair of 1939. There they were on the eve of World War II with a rosy view of the future. Walt Disney was one of them. He made Tomorrowland a paying proposition. Well, a beautiful tomorrow, just a dream away. That says we're going places. There's progress ahead. And recently, many of them came to Philadelphia. Who are they? Why, the futurists, of course. We sometimes just get our own view. The event was the 2002 annual conference of the World Future Society. One of the celebrities at this year's conference was Jacques Fresco. His Venus project in Florida is a 25-acre laboratory where he and his associate, Roxanne Meadows, illustrate, animate, and construct their vision of the future. You're looking at a machine that rises up here and takes this extruded apartment house and shoves it right onto that extension sticking out of the building. These are self-erecting structures, buildings that put themselves up. Such buildings are part of the fresco design universe that calls for major attitude adjustments on the part of powerful people. But the fresco future also requires material breakthroughs, such as those coming out of nanotechnology. Now, nano means one billion, and a nano inch is a space that's so small that once you get inside, using very high-powered microscopes like this one, you can start pushing those atoms around. Nanotechnology is a promise of a very different kind of future where we'll be able to take atoms, atom by atom, and arrange them into whatever molecular structure we want. Atom by atom, David Luzzi has built these amazing structures called nanotubes. This is probably the strongest material that will ever be made. Luzzi is a professor of material science and a co-director of the Nanotechnology Institute here at the University of Pennsylvania and Drexel University in West Philadelphia. That institute is designed to be an incubator for our new science and the new industries that will come from it. And I believe Penn and Drexel and other universities in the area have the tools and the intellectual horsepower to get it done. So nanotechnology can produce designer molecules that could lead to everything from faster computers to engines that never wear out to lighter, stronger, bulletproof vests. And it could also lead to new tissue for worn out hearts. And here we can start thinking about how do the physical scientists and the engineers start doing very creative things in tissue engineering? How do we start helping the biomedical community produce new cardiac tissue that can repair dead spots on the heart and produce things that actually beat. So in the Nanotechnology Institute, one of our four focused areas is actually on developing cardiac tissue which can beat. And a lot of hearts beat faster these days at the prospect of our Delaware Valley becoming. Ah, yes. Um, Nanotech Valley. Uh, one of, the, one of the true uh, evidences of the genius of Alan McDermott, who is our Nobel laureate in chemistry, was early on when we were talking about this nanotechnology institute, I had a conversation with, with Alan about this, and he said, you know, I've already registered the website nanotechvalley.com. <laughs> 
and, 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 you can, and you can have it to use if you want. So yes, uh, the Delaware Valley, it, it's, it's very much our goal. Uh, and, and, and by saying that, of course, we're talking about, of course, the Pennsylvania State Initiative is Pennsylvania-centric, of course, but we are interested and are reaching across the Delaware into New Jersey, to Delaware, to Maryland, because there are tremendous regional capabilities here. It's the Nano Valley Express heading towards a bright future. Nano Valley. Nano, 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 nano. What if it derails? Ah, it may end up as a Tony Auth cartoon. Ah, that's next on Primetime Weekend. Nano, nano. <laughs>